Hey there everyone, so I want to show you another method so that you can download free music from your iPhone to your iPhone Apple Music so that you don't have to use your data every time you want to uh, use the music offline <laughs> and not have to um, you know, use your data every time you want to listen to music. Alright, so uh, it's just a couple steps, you're going to need a few things. So you're going to need to download this app called Documents. All right, so you're going to go into your app store and then you're going to type in documents up here. And this is the app right here. It's called Documents by Readle. Once it's downloaded, open up the app. So once you first open up the app, um, it's going to look like this. OK, it's going to just show you all your uh, files. It's going to have a couple different selections down here. So you're going to select the, safa the Safari icon right here and slide it to the left. So it's going to open up a Safari browser in the app. Okay, so uh, here what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the search bar up here, okay? And you're gonna type in a link that I'm gonna have in the description down below. Okay, there's gonna be a link down there, uh, but the address is right here. If you don't wanna have to look down there, it's www.30pluspremieres.us. So go there and it's gonna be this site right here. It's called Premieres. Uh, so here you have a very nice selection of music to choose from. You have almost every song uh, available and popular songs that are out right now. Um, so you can, if you want to search for a specific song or artist, just select right here. Tap on the search bar and you can search for the song name or artist name and then hit go. Yeah, I'm going to select this song right here just for the purpose of this. Okay, so always uh, try and select the download link that says debris okay so here it's download link one so i'm going to select download link one and it's going to show you this file right here okay and then here here all you have to do is hit download hit download here it's going to ask you where uh if you want to rename the file so i want to keep that name and here where it says save to you're going to select itunes files so make sure you select itunes files and then hit done Okay, and then after a few seconds, it will complete the download. Okay, uh, once you want to check your downloads, once it's done, go ahead and ch select this bottom arrow down here. There you go, it's been done. So I'm going to select it. And here you go. Uh, there's the song, it's the top one. And select it. Okay, so here I'm back at my documents uh, main page here. So we're going to go into iTunes files if you want to select the song. So the song is right here. Let's see. Okay. And looks like that's actually the whole album that it downloaded. So it downloaded the whole album, not just one song. Uh, and if you want to play any of the songs, you could just select it and it will play it. Let's see. Okay. Um, so another good thing about this is that um, you don't necessarily have to transfer this music to your Apple Music Library. You can just keep it here in your documents. So you can just keep it here, open up your documents, go to iTunes files, and here will be all the music that you download. Let's uh, go ahead and turn data off, cellular data off, so that we can test it. As you can see, no more data. Let's go back to documents, and let's try and play. As you can see, the song is playing fine. Select another one. There you go, see?